So we're currently riding bikes back to like the city of Milano, which we're very excited about. Yo guys and welcome back to another video. A very, very exciting video. An important video. So tomorrow morning we are actually off to Italy. Finally, right? Literally finally. We are so excited. We've been dying to go. We are off to Italy to we see are the venues. Indeed. Yeah, we are going to see the venues of our wedding like how crazy is that like think about what we're actually doing i know i am looking like a complete mess right now i've got hair mask on but i just actually wanted to jump on here and speak to you guys about case of fire i've actually got a delivery early this morning which is perfect timing because nothing better than having a fresh new phone case before going away i have been using case of fire for years and years and years it's the only phone case i use on my phone and very exciting news because the new iphone is actually coming out and in case of fire, I already have designs and cases ready for it. So if you guys are looking to upgrade your phone and you don't know what you get your cases, make sure that you go and check uh, case of fire out. So I'll quickly show you my order that I've got for this month. And I've already chosen the case I'm going to be taking away with me. This is a personalized impact case. So it has like these little bumps in the corner. And it means that when you, if it happens that you drop your phone, this will protect your phone. I had the same phone for, I want to say, like a couple years now. And it doesn't have any scratches whatsoever because my case of fire generally protected my phone so well the quality is just impeccable you cannot beat it i'm going to be showing you the designs i went for this time i love because i have so many options i'm also going to be leaving a link on the description and on the screen right now and you can actually check this link with my full order as well as all of the options of cases and if you use this link a discount code would automatically be applied to your checkout so make sure that you do use and click this link if you want to want to see what i'm ordering if you want a discount and also every time i order new cases uh this link is actually going to be updated so you can see what i've been ordering also something very cool about this case is that this is actually made of uh recyclable materials Materials, which is really cool so case of fire is working to be more sustainable as soon as i received it this morning i was so excited i wanted to open have a look on what i have i've decided to go with this one just because it's quite nice plain and simple i was between this one and this as well and i also got this really cute black with love heart on which i think is really nice i like the fact that it's got like so many different colors then i went for this one which is something a little bit different what i usually go for but i was feeling a little bit more adventurous but how cool is this i love how you can personalize you can have your name you can have your initials i sometimes go in a mix between having my initials and the kids initials but yeah they have loads of options very happy with my case choice now i need to rush off finish packing i'm gonna have a shower wash my hair and i'll see you guys in the morning when we're going to the airport so we are now about to leave my mum is here mum's been here since six Six. Not six, it's yeah, quarter two six, is that quarter past? So, are you ready, me? Yes, let's go. We just said goodbye to Arlo, but she's asleep. We were sort of hoping she'd be awake because half the time she's awake by now, but she's not. So, I really wanted to say goodbye. But Lake is still asleep as well, so at least, like, on one positive, at least. My mum probably didn't believe that they actually wake up this time because whenever she stayed here before, normally they're up at like four. Just had the most rushed ever security check, but we Both made it for breakfast. Oh, so they needed to be checked, and it, oh my goodness, it took so long, didn't it? You did. Did you say you're getting the vegan one? I'm getting the veggie one, please. I'm having the veggie breakfast because it's getting get the full English, and we Do actually need to hurry up. Oh, no, Scramble egg, egg, please. Yeah. yeah, thank you. First stop, breakfast. I'll go anywhere. About the way they're looking at us, cause I know they wish they had it, and they know we doing damage to the game. I don't care about the stereotype. I can never do it, mono we the stereotype. I'm talking guys. So we have just arrived we at our it. hotel. It's actually an apartment, it's not actually a hotel, is it? It is very say, cool though. I think the last thing of vlogs is that we were gonna have breakfast. We didn't even like get to take the camera and tell you that we didn't have time to have breakfast. We had it on, we the, on the plane. We had to sprint. Yeah. We? we were on the hundred and thirteen gate, and it was the it was like the furthest really one. Though, didn't it? Like we had breakfast on the plane. It yeah, we got it as really takeaway, nice. and we had on the plane. We watched our series, which we've been watching, which oh, we're yeah, watching, we're watching clickbait, clickbait, which is very good. Um, but guys, anyway, if you want to see where we're staying right now, look how awesome this is. Really? This is our. Uh, 
balcony goes all the way along here. Yeah, we don't actually want to go out like a proper dinner later, but we're really hungry. One thing we're going to do is we're going to walk up the road, go into like a little restaurant, get like a start or like a little salad, then go to like the city centre and have a little look around and you know, and then maybe go for dinner there. But yeah, that is the plan, I think. Today, it's like four o'clock now. Like I said, we just got in the hotel. So we're going to go and get a little snack type starter go or something. Go on a little walk and explore. Go on a little walk, have a look at the lake. Have a look at what's around. This, if you've seen the movie Luca, guys, we're literally living in it right now. Like, I'm pretty sure there's sea monsters in the lake. Don't quote me on it, <laughs> oh, but I'm pretty oh, sure there is. So Harlow is obsessed with Vespers as well, actually, because of the movie Luca. If you haven't seen it, I'm not gonna talk about Luca too much. I'm also not gonna spoil it, but they love Vespers in Luca. So Harlow now loves Vespers. If we ever see like a moped, she's like, there's a Vespa. And I think tomorrow when we do our little tour, or if not tomorrow, we definitely want to do a day where we're on Vespers. We, the, like the nearest like main city, like where we flew into is actually Milan. Like depending on how tomorrow goes, potentially oh. we're gonna go into Milan at some point as well. It's like I'm an hour. As much so as we can. we'll see. We've literally got two full days. We've got a couple of hours, a few hours today to go and get some food, to sort things out, to work out what's going on. Ready, Nay? Let's go. We have now stepped out for our first steps in Lake Como. Here we just take a moment. We just walked two minutes from our hotel, and we stopped at this little cab. It doesn't even look real, it's so incredible. With all the little cheese board and some drinks. Casey went for this one. I went for the Boc Rossa. This Which? sounds very Italian, I think, Boc Rossa. For, for our main course, we just saw a massive fish swim past. It's so cool, they actually have fish coming along the massive. No, there's one. Where? It's not, oh, yeah, it's not look. big. It is big though, it's it is still so a bit cool. Big. And now there's two swans here guys. How cute, how cute. Very cute, I'm gonna do such a cool story. <laughs> they literally came right to us, Oh, Very sweet, look. What are they waiting for? The dragon are waiting for food? Like there's two English people, they're probably gonna give me <laughs> food. Oh. Actually you're not English, thinking about I'm not English, no. Wow, wow, wow. I thought it was going to be a small board, it's actually huge. We just had an explanation as well from the waiter, bless him, explaining about the local cheeses and the local meats. Do your shots, um, do our shots together. That's your what, one. honey, and what's this one again? Jam? Jam. Oh, yummy. <gasps> this is literally my habit, I didn't need anything else. Got my apple spread and the veal. So cheers, good. case. Cheers to that. And now we actually want to go to this side and there's actually this little, it's like a mini ferry. The cars go on the bottom and then the people go on the top. So we're gonna get the ferry over there. I think it takes about 20 minutes on the ferry. Um, I thought it took half an hour, but actually I think it's less than that. It takes half an hour for us to then get off it and walk to where we wanna get. So yeah, I'm quite excited to take the boat across Lake Como. A second ago we saw the two swans, right? And then we saw two like ducks coming past after and he was like, Look, it's Lake and Harlow. <laughs> but it's funny as well because they like the swans came together, like they were like, oh, we're so in love. And then the ducks, so the ducks were like this, like, no, I don't want to go anywhere near you, but we've got to go the same way, which is exactly like Harlow and Lake. Actually, it's not. They're, they're actually on top of each other, aren't they? They are. Like, literally, oh my god, yesterday I picked her up from school and they were hugging for about not even a lie, like three minutes straight. I just stood in the playground talking to like one of the other mums there. And she was like, are they gonna stop hugging at any point? I was like, I um, don't know, maybe. But anyway, our boat's coming in, so we've got to pay our bill and get out. So we are now on a boat. Like I said, we're now going over the lake. It's so beautiful. I don't want to show them. Oh, it looks edge. amazing. Look at the lighting coming through. I don't know if you can see from the camera, but it looks so like, it doesn't even look real. So this is the Bellagio which I would say is like in the middle of the lake and they have like a really nice city town and you can even see like all the villas by the water and basically we want to get married like from one of these so like the guests will have to come to a wedding in a, in a boat and we'll Buy have to like boat, hire the yeah, boat and really, stuff really cool. my mum was exciting. gonna have to get a new worker she gets seasick I don't think she gets seasick <laughs> on this so. Oh, my mum would, bless her. She really can't do it. You wouldn't even be able to tell you're on a boat. No, she can. If it's, it's if like you truly see sick, you can. No, this is like sitting no, on No, but look. Oh, it's so amazing. So just arrived at Bellagio. It's, we haven't even stepped here, but again, it's just so 
gorgeous. Oh, it's actually gorgeous. It doesn't look real. Like <laughs> it is so gorgeous, isn't it? It is very cool. There's like some little local shops and things that we're going to go and have a look at now. But just look, this know, just looks like close. a film set. It feels like a it looks like a film set, doesn't it? It does look like a film set. It literally, correct, it, it feels like it was built like for some filming. Yeah, look at all this cute little. Yeah, you keep saying Harry Potter, it has, which has absolutely nothing to do with this at right, all. The lake looks exactly like the lake. Oh. If you've watched Harry Potter, you'll know exactly what scene I'm talking about. Sicilian lemons. Oh, this is so incredible. Well, I don't think they really remind me of Italy, though. They remind me of our garden. We had a beautiful lemon tree. It was very Italian inspired, you know. That's if you ever come, bring comfy shoes. Look how steep this is, it goes all the way up. I just wish we brought Harlow and Lake in the double buggy right now. Oh, I was just thinking that. <laughs> I felt guilty up until now and I was like, wow. Found some limoncello. I was saying to Casey that one of my goals now is to like go everywhere I go, buy a bottle from the place. Because I said my So I start collecting. Nee's goal is to get a bottle of alcohol everywhere she goes. It's decorative, so like, really. I'm like athletic, getting fit. Like, yeah, I want to yeah, right. Nee's like, get me a bottle of vodka. No, so I'm go I just think it would be really cute. Like, just how. Maybe not this one. This one doesn't look very special, but they're cute. It looks quite cool. It's just, uh, yeah, definitely not the best one. This is like one of my favorite sections at Homestead. <laughs> Came in all the way here for it, but look how incredible! I found a really cool limoncello bottle, something like that. It's got like the like Como shape, I want to say. No, but, like, it's Italy. -y. That's not Italy. Yes, it is. Oh it's yeah, I couldn't see. It. Okay, I didn't see the boot. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but look how cool. So we have just got back to our room. It has been one hell of a mission. So the place we are staying is absolutely beautiful. There's no doubt about it. It's incredible. However, it's also in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Like there's no Ubers. There's no taxis and like there's like nowhere open. <laughs> but I think it's because we're here on a Wednesday evening. Everyone's like, oh, the weekend's really lively. However, we go home on the weekend, so we're not gonna be here for that. But we did actually, so we got, we've eventually found a way to get a taxi. It cost so much money. However, we did find somewhere really cool. So tomorrow, I think we're gonna head there a bit earlier in the day and then just enjoy it. In fact, actually, tomorrow, we're going into the big city. We're going into Milan, so that's gonna be really exciting. Then the day after that, we're looking at venues for the wedding. We have arrived at the Pigeon Meetup, right in the middle of Milan. They're everywhere, but, They've all come to see this. Look at this huge, it's a cathedral, isn't it? Look, this woman's like taking pictures with all the pigeons. Need you wanna get a picture of all the pigeons? Come back. <laughs> that's so crazy. Oh my God, that's so funny. Loads of people are getting pictures with pigeons. I hate pigeons, but I feel like maybe I'll get a picture with pigeons because there's so many. Dude, look how insane that looks as well. Wow, we've literally just stepped out the taxi, so look, shall I see if a pigeon comes to me with my hand out? I haven't got anything on it though, so probably not gonna happen. <laughs> we've just arrived in Milan, it's about an hour's drive, so it's lunchtime. Oh, yeah, we did. Now, right, so we right stopped for lunch. Yeah, we're like in this mall right next to the cathedral. We've got some fresh bread. This one, oh, yeah, in case you got the other half of it, is. Incredible. This bread has olive inside and I absolutely love olives so I'm in, in my element. And the food is out. I've been dying to try burrata in Italy. So it's definitely here excited. This is your what pizza is that? I've just had my first ever bite into an actual Italian pizza. It's very How young. does that sound? It's weird so they don't have like meat pizzas here. No. Well they don't in this restaurant anyway. I think it's not really like a it's Italian like thing. Ham and Mushroom and artichokes. Yeah. To be honest, I think every pizza on the menu is pretty much the same pizza. Just like something taken away or something else. Maybe that's like what their base is. It's like yeah. cheese, tomato sauce. I mean, sauce it tastes and... amazing. So that's all good. I've got chili oil on it as well. Mm. To cut a long story short. We've just bought a car. 
<laughs> it's much better to basically drive around in Como and around in the car because like it's quite hard to get the taxis and they're quite really hard. expensive. It's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible. So yeah, we have got a car. Something that we definitely should have started beforehand because it's to rent this and costs half the price. Like to rent this for like three days costs half the price than it did for us to get a taxi here. Yeah, it was Literally. very expensive. Mental. So, so we'd, have to, we'd have had to pay all that again just to get back and then taxis everywhere we go. And tomorrow when we go to see the venues is when we need to be going like back and forth, you know, like really, really need a car. And it's really easy to park. We've got like a little car park in our, in our apartment as well. So off we are, I'm petrified. I shouldn't be because I was born and bred. Um, somewhere there the driver is on that side but I feel like I'm just so used to it because I drive now so used to like this side uh, wait God. in England we drive on the left so I've got to drive on the right yeah, yeah. But that's why really am I having to rethink that it's so strange like I should know this but here we go yeah, there's no way you were driving in another country. No I would car. in Brazil no you wouldn't yes I would yeah, Brazil that's the worst out of anywhere I would drive in Brazil so I have to go around well, I think we're going to pink slips this car. So we're going to race someone and then winner keeps two cars. Okay, no, I'm joking. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, so the plan now is we're actually going to, well, firstly, we just want to find out if we can park this in this car park until later on today. Which because is, we're in Milan. We want to stay the day in Milan. Yeah. yeah. And the latest where we could keep it upstairs, which is where we was, Half was 6.30. Six. And it's already like almost 4.30. So we're currently riding bikes back to like the city of Milano, which we're very excited about. So, me is very scared on the bike, she's not a huge fan. It's a very bumpy road and I haven't ridden a bike for a long time and I'm trying to do it obviously one-handed just so I can vlog. But enough talking about nothing and I'm gonna stop vlogging so I can use two hands again. Taken a shortcut, well I, sh I say a shortcut, we didn't really know where we was going and then it was like if we cut through the park we're sort of back on track. I feel so sad. Look at this little train, like we've mentioned before, Lake is obsessed with trains. This is just in the park. I actually only stopped because I saw one of the seven dwarfs. We were just saying when we come back we're gonna, I think next time we'll actually probably stay in Milan to look at the venues again and we're actually going to bring the kids with us next time and this is a must we have to stop here because they've got the train which lake's gonna love harlow will love it as well actually they've got like big balloons and stuff oh it's so sweet and they've got like a little like all of these little things are just toys as well but ready nay let's go so we've just stopped at a mcdonald's literally just to get a diet coke but how cool they have peroni in here they, they also have, have lipton iced tea they have nutella on bread and then they have what was the other one they oh, have no. tasty basket that looks so, so cool. good this one. no 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 wait yeah no, 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 that was it. oh what why do we not have any of this in the uk if people come oh, to the God. uk they must go oh their mcdonald's is crap all they do is cheeseburgers and chips we definitely have to get this at some point not now but one of the things that we love to do actually on the road is have them mcdonald's i definitely want it i want to have it for breakfast maybe that's what we i want to get do. it at the airport actually yeah like potentially that. maybe that's like a more sensible kind of thing right drinks yeah so here we are talking about food again we had a really nice uh, mood around for the shops it's so gorgeous isn't it? it is i don't remember if we told you that we wanted to come up here earlier or not i think we said we tried to go up there, but it's fully booked. Yeah, but let's We're look, here for dinner. Look what we have for dinner. This is our view. This is the Milan Cathedral, which is absolutely incredible. Like, oh. And there's all the ants down there as well. Look, have a look. Uh? Show them the ants. <laughs> it's crazy. It's so busy. Look, it's also Milano Fashion Week, uh, which we didn't really know. So it's like really busy. There's so many people. Everyone is so well dressed as well, which is so lovely. So our food's come out now. I've got the Octo Burger. So it's like octopus in a bun. I thought it was octopus with a burger, but I'm not actually that hungry. So I'm glad it's come like this. Yeah, oh it's like, all, it's like melted. That. It's so, so good. good. Just driven this car. The most scary route ever, literally. We are in the middle of the mountains 
and it's taken probably about two and a half hours. It was meant to take an hour and a half. I did one wrong turn and it was game over. Literally, it was so annoying. Yeah, that was freaky. Like, look at these roads. Like, they're not very well lit. It's all dark and it's like through the mountains. So, also on the other side of the road. However, we're back.